Hey guys and welcome back. Tonight is match day in Philadelphia, Aston Villa versus Newcastle in the Premier League USA series. And also potentially but more likely probably in my opinion the debut of Harvey Barnes. He got officially announced this morning. He's also been registered into the squad team. He's allowed to play tonight. Big signing. Let's see how he gets on. You can see in the background behind me, there is Newcastle is a tailgate slash fans over for the game. So the Philadelphia match is actually organised this so pretty much a tailgate for those who don't know what it is. There's BL inside there's food, there's games to play, it's just a mountain version. I guess party is the way to put it. But guys, if you're new around here and you like what you're watching, make sure you get down and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any upcoming content. Sunderland fans are at the game tonight. Now to be fair, the Castle fans have done this in Sunderland games as well, so it's not like it's just them doing it. But listen, that's the first time he's ever watched a Champions League team play, so I'll be fair enough. Honestly though, um, back on topic now, that tailgate behind me is mad. Look at that bus over there, it's incredible to see. We're going to get amongst it in just a moment. But I have actually got a, a training ground pass, you can argue. Um, I've got that tomorrow, so I can actually go along and see Eddie Howe's training session. I can meet the players afterwards. That's going to be the channel, there's so much to get into. If you don't want to miss any of it, without further ado, we have a match to get to. Let's get on the way. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's good.
And where are you from in the world? So I'm from Newcastle, I'm from Jesmond, but I've lived in New Jersey 15 years now. I'm and from New Jersey. Yeah, New these Jersey. are born in America, but they're Geordies really. Yeah. You ever had a chance to go to any games over the last 15 years? Yeah, well, uh, we went to the Newcastle Leeds game. Uh, New Year, there was no goals, obviously, but you know we were there for that one. And then before that, not really got too many because being over here. But... I was a season ticket holder in the, in the Keegan years and the entertainer years, so that was class. That's brilliant. I just wanted to mention your hairstyles as well. I mean, you look quite similar to our Brazilian lads. You want yeah, to mention the that? Brazilian, we've got uh, Big Joe and Bruno. Yeah. So we, That's love the, we love the Brazilians, right? Yep. No, I just want to ask you to, um, who's your favourite Newcastle player? Um, Bruno. Bruno. I take it you're fancy one of the Brazilians as well? Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer, fair enough. And finally from me, you got a score prediction for tonight's game? What do you think the score's going to be? 3-1. 3-1? Uh, I thought you, Kira, I had a chance to speak to you a couple of days ago. Just how's it been? I mean, Murdad turned with your pub event last night. You've had the, the stuff of the club today and now you've got the two. Just how's it been the last couple of days for you? Yeah, it's been amazing. Like, I've never seen this many team fans in the city. The time is now currently 6 pm in America. The Fulham Brentford game is about to end. I'm going to head inside the stadium, an hour four kickoff. I'm going to soak in the atmosphere and we are going to hopefully watch the cast day beat Aston Villa today. How are the Max? inside the Newcastle we've been actually going and getting a picture of Shea giving Bob and Bob and showing you. That's so cool for the Newcastle fans to get a chance to see him today. As you can see we are now inside Lincoln Financial Field. There's actually a Premier League USA series fan down here. So every single team taking part in the Premier League tournament actually has their own separate tent. Aston Villa's tent is a bunch of cardboard cut out. The Newcastle United's tent is Shea giving Bob and Bob and Sean and Yubi. That's the difference in football clubs that Newcastle United are trying their best to commercialise themselves over in USA. Paul and all his effort, the marketing team's spot on so far, and that just shows the levels of this club's trying to reach. It's incredible to see.
Wow, look at that. That is what life is all about as a football fan. You come to the best stadiums in the world. I buddy Castle. This will be the nicest stadium this season in two in the Champions League. One thing I will complain about actually, I ended up buying a bottle of water before $6.50 a bottle of water. Because bear in mind, I saw a Lincoln Financial Field. It's ruthless, the sun is beaming down. I mean, that's about well, over four pounds back in the UK for essential liquid in your body. It's, that's a lot, you know. Five minutes in, so simple for Villa. Got plenty of time, but yeah, uh, pretty easy goal for them to be honest. Two nil now, ten minutes of the match. This is a disaster. <laughs> Newcastle are having their first water break now, 22 minutes of the match, Newcastle are nil, Aston Villa 2, they have been the better team to be fair, in front of goal they look so clinical, every chance to get they look like they got a score, whereas Newcastle just haven't really been all there, I mean so far it's a high climate, it's Newcastle's first game, I don't mind so much, we're going to see how it gets on, but thankfully we're here for three matches, if this is one match and we've got battle like this, it'll be, it'll be a great visit to be honest. Same Aston Villa 2, Newcastle 2. Elliot Anderson is having the game of his life, yeah. He's been incredible so far. Second off, let's see how it goes. It's been fantastic by Newcastle.
devil's advocate here, I actually generally thought that one was in the pen. I did definitely think the first one was. Full time here today in Philadelphia, Aston Villa 3, the Castaneda 3, it's ending a draw. A lot of positive take out of that game, again with the heat, it's so hot, I can't expect too much from the team. But honestly, both teams give it a real good go. I think when Newcastle are going down to Atlanta, it's going to be an even hotter game, so they kind of get some steam off there. But it's a good start to our American pre-season tour. I thought towards the end of the game, any team was going to score, but Newcastle was the more likely team to score. Harvey Barnes is a bit unlucky, also might either catch it or not, Davies dropping out and most is putting in. So honestly for most it's been real good. I'm happy with what I've seen so far. I can't ask too much from the players due to how hot it is again. You guys back home you don't understand how bad it is. It is incredible. But I'm um, back on it tomorrow, get my flight across to Atlanta. So there'll be plenty of videos coming up on the channel. You take care now. We've got two more games in America to do. See you guys in the next one.